Welcome to our lecture online. For this next problem, we're supposed to show that the volume of this cube, where the sides are defined by A, B, and C, can be found by taking the cross product of A and B and then taking that result and doing the dot product with vector C. Notice the length of vector A, A equals this side, the length of vector B equals this side, and the length of vector C equals this side. So, how do we do that? Well, let's start out by doing the cross product of A and B. But instead of just doing the cross product, let's find the magnitude of the cross product. So what we can do is we can say that the magnitude of A cross B, by definition, is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the, no, not the cosine, that's the other rule, times the sine of the angle between A and B, the sine of theta, the angle between A and B, and by definition, since this is a cube, that should be 90 degrees. So we can say that this is equal to A times B times the sine of 90 degrees, which is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B, which is equal to the area of the base. So this is, by definition, the area of the base of the cube. All right, let's also represent that dot product by another vector e. So we can say that, or not dot product, but cross product, a cross b is equal to another vector, let's call it the vector e, it could be any, any letter, so that we know that uh, the magnitude of e, the magnitude of e, and let's put absolute value signs around it, it's better, the magnitude of e is equal to a dot b, and the direction of E, well, that would be perpendicular, so we can write that down. The direction of E is perpendicular to the base. Now next we're going to take the cross part at A cross B and multiply it with c via the dot product. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have a cross b dotted with the vector c. Okay, by definition, that is equal to the magnitude of a cross b, which we now know is going to be a times b, times the magnitude of c, so it's going to be times c, times the cosine of the angle between them, the cosine of and I need to use a different letter because I used theta there already, so let's use it, the angle phi, and so the angle phi would be this angle right here. So this is the angle phi, which we know is also going to be 90 degrees, and the angle theta is 90 degrees as well, again, because it's a cube. And the cosine of 90 degrees, let's write that down, this is A times B times C times the cosine of 90 degrees, which is equal to A times B times C, because the cosine of 90 is 1. And of course, a times b times c is the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the magnitude of c, and by definition, the volume is the length times the width times the height, so therefore, this is equal to the volume of the cube. And that is how it's done.